the new duality dungeon takes us into the mind of Callus, where we must give him therapy by killing his nightmares. Throughout the dungeon, you can shoot these bells to switch between the overworld and nether versions of the Mind's Cape, teleporting everyone in your fire team. When you're in the nether version, you need to stand next to the bell to return to the overworld, otherwise you will die. You use this mechanic to progress through a couple jumping sections and then drop down into the first encounter, the Galran fight. In the first encounter, you must head into the nether and search the side rooms for scions, called standard bearers. You can tell where they are, because the other two side rooms will have no enemies in them. When killed, these scions drop a flag which will give you the standard essence buff, with the name of the room it was collected in. When both scions have been killed, you should kill the bellkeeper in Sendia's protecting the bell, this allows you to use it to return to the overworld. While you are in the nether, you will have a debuff called Nightmare Collapsing, which limits the amount of time you can spend in that dimension. Killing a scion to get a flag buff will increase this time. The flags which you picked up can be deposited at certain locations, where you see the correct symbol appear on the floor. Deposit both flags, and the respective side rooms will open, where you can kill a colossus. When both side rooms are cleared, stand in them, and shoot a bell. This will take you into the nether, in a closed-off area where you need to kill lots of these enemies, called Shades of Galran. To deal damage to the boss, both groups of Shades need to be defeated, so it will take twice as long solo. As the boss likes to get up close in your face, I like to use swords to damage him, but most weapons will be fine here, and hopefully you should be able to defeat this nightmare. If you need help to learn this dungeon, or any raid, join my Discord server. Me and my friends teach dungeons and raids all the time, and we can certainly help you out. Link is in the description. After a jumping puzzle or two, you will get to the statue room. Jump up to the platform on the left to get the first secret chest. Remember, secret chests in raids and dungeons will only drop loot which you have already found. To get through the statue room, you need to make all the statues point towards the center. When in the nether, interacting with the statues will turn them 90 degrees anticlockwise in the overworld, so check each statue beforehand to see how many times you need to move them. After you do that, the floor should open up to reveal the second encounter. If you need to find the hidden memory collectibles for the Mind Heist Triumph, check out the video I made, link in the description. The mechanics for the second encounter are very similar to the first encounter. You will see two symbols in the center of the room, and you need to head to the corners with the same symbols. After killing the bellkeepers, use the bell to head into the nether, where you can kill the enemies and colossus to collect your flag with the right symbol. Return to the overworld and deposit the flags, and you can then damage the miniboss. Repeat this twice more, and the encounter is over. When you reach this room, go underneath the structure to find a secret chest, and a hidden memory. Then, use the bells to reach the top of the room, where you can reach the final encounter. In the final encounter, you face the Nightmare of Catel, the daughter of Callus. In a very similar way to the previous encounters, you need to find the symbols in the center of the room, and head to the corner with the respective symbol, before using the bells to head into the nether, where you will kill a scion to grab a flag, and return to the overworld. Deposit your flags and repeat this again until you deposit all four, where the damage phase can begin. The damage phase in this final fight is kinda counterintuitive and a little badly designed in my opinion, because the bells now have a completely different function, and do not teleport you. Instead, they will stun Katel when she is next to one, and it gives a damage buff to all players stood in the circle. After you get this buff, you can start to do damage, but if you weren't stood next to the bell, you won't get this buff, and shouldn't waste any ammo as your damage will be pretty minimal. After doing damage from all three bells, you will get sent back to the overworld where you repeat the process again until the Nightmare of Katel has been defeated. 
All the loot drops in this dungeon are farmable, even loot you haven't found yet, so completing the dungeon multiple times per week is still rewarding. The exotic sword Heart Shadow has a random chance to drop from the final boss, and you can increase this chance by completing the dungeon triumphs, such as a solo completion, or finding all the collectibles. Now you know how to beat the new dungeon, give it a try and see if you can get the exotic to drop. Join our Discord if you would like any help, and I'll see you in the next video.